What's up, convoy? Back again with the most knowledgeable and handsome truck driver on YouTube. Today I'm sitting here at the moment at Coca-Cola in Detroit. You can see the lovely part of town. Showing you guys this stuff several times before. Check that out. I'll sell you guys a really cheap house. Neighbor said you could use his garage back there too. I'm sitting here on, on Wesson Street in Detroit, just outside of Coca-Cola. This is pretty much Coca-Cola's holding area or waiting lot to uh, to get into uh, the the dock door. We gotta wait here till they call us or go walk around and check in. I am here uh, gonna pick up a load going to Cincinnati, Ohio. I've got a 4:30 appointment time. Got here about 3:45, hoping that they'd get me in just a little bit early, but that's not the case. Uh, I gotta wait out here till they call me. I don't know when. I've been here. Uh, as fast as 30 minutes in and out. I've also been here as long as 18 friggin' hours. So we'll just see. Hopefully it's not the 18 hours, but if I have to stay here for that long, at least I'm going to be compensated for it. 20 bucks an hour. So, well, minus two of those hours because I got to give two hours for free, which is not a big deal. But hopefully they get me in and out of here pretty quick. I'm, uh, Looking forward to the run down to Cincinnati. All right, finally loaded five hours later. Got 42,660 pounds of delicious water. I think it's Dasani, that's Coke's water. I'm not sure, about 260 miles away from where I deliver in Cincinnati right now. I'll be pulling in there, I don't know, about 2 a.m. or so, which is perfect time to pull into Cincinnati there because driving through Cincinnati Kind of sucks when there's a lot of traffic out. It's just kind of a slow go at times. It always seems to be a wreck every time I go through there in the daytime. There's always some kind of a big wreck up there just uh, backing shit up for a while. So uh, I'm always uh, more of a fan of delivering loads in, down into Cincinnati or pretty much any big city. Uh, about 1, 2, 3 in the morning just makes things a lot easier. Uh, I should have about three hours or so on my clock. I'm not dispatched on anything coming out of there, but uh, I'm probably going to get down there and do a break. And usually when I go down there, uh, the next morning I pull a uh, load going to Twinsburg or Columbus or something like that. So maybe even Houston, Pennsylvania. So today kind of sucked, but I did uh, get a few hours of detention in there. So uh, money-wise, it didn't hurt too bad. But it was still boring, and just a little ride down I-75, like I said, only 260 miles away. It's going to be a pretty boring vlog, because there's really not much going on. Nothing really exciting uh, on this load whatsoever. Before it gets too late, I better get her in a gear and up the road.
gotta change his shorts in there. I'm sure he's got a different shade of brown on now. Southbound, y'all back her down. Y'all got a wreck up there just past the 167 exit. He'd be in the hammer lane. Kroger ran off the road. I stopped here in Beaver Dam, Ohio for a little potty break and um, got a little bit of weather. You guys saw from that uh, last clip uh, there was a truck in the ditch and that's because it's super windy out here. Like I said, this load that I'm pulling right now is uh, 44,660 pounds and it's uh, the wind's blowing me around pretty good out there couple of times it even pushed me uh, sort of into the next lane. Yeah, if it keeps up and uh, gets worse, I might even end up shutting her down because I don't want to be that guy in the ditch. It was pretty crazy this weather because uh, when I was in Michigan, the temperature was 37 degrees. And as, uh, as it sits right now, down here in Beaver Dam, Ohio, it's 55 degrees and it's not that far of a distance from Beaver Dam to Detroit. And I'm no meteorologist or nothing, but my experience driving around that when the weather temperature changes that drastically you should definitely keep an eye on the sky and uh, take note of what the weather's doing because uh, when the weather changes that much that's a good indication that of, uh, of there being severe weather so I'm definitely gonna keep my eye to the sky and pay attention to what the hell's going on around me uh, when wind like this I can't stand when people are just ride next to me you know, I always take it super slow because uh, with wind gusts, uh, I don't know what they're at, but I can imagine upwards of 50 miles an hour is what it feels like. Uh, anything can happen, you know, a, gust, a hard gust of wind could blow me into the next lane or or if someone's riding next to me, it could blow them into my lane and cause a big wreck. And uh, that's what I'm trying to avoid. So, like I said, if it gets much worse out here, I'm gonna find a spot to pull over and shut her down till the morning. I, I looked at the radar, and uh, I mean, I have rain at least going all the way down to Cincinnati, but I don't know about how consistent the, the wind gusts are gonna be. So like I said, uh, just gonna have to keep an eye on that. So uh, what happened was a lightning strike hit the building somewhere and took out all the power. So now I'm sitting over here in our our little section of the lot, and I'm just gonna do a 10-hour break here. Um, their computer systems were completely down; couldn't even get a load out of there if I wanted to. Uh, wanted to get one tonight for tomorrow. It's normally what I do when I take breaks here. I'll uh, I'll grab the paperwork and then bobtail to our little lot. It's right here. It's attached to the Coke property, 
and then uh, get my break in and go back into the yard in the morning and grab the trailer. But being that uh, their system and everything's down, then obviously they have no power. Uh, I don't even know what I'm doing, just kind of sitting in purgatory until the morning time, which when the, hopefully the system comes back up uh, overnight and uh, everything's working in the morning because even if that does happen, because this is delaying everything right now, the morning's going to be absolutely insane with drivers trying to get loads going out and stuff. So hopefully that uh, that doesn't take up too much time in my morning. Hopefully that's not too frustrating of a process tomorrow morning. It's if the system's even back up by then. But if not, I guess we'll figure uh, something out for me to do. Either way, we'll uh, we'll figure it out in the morning. We'll go to bed now and get some, some shut-eye. And uh, like I said, yeah, today was just pretty, pretty boring. Just picked up, cruised right down I-75 into Cincinnati. Got here, the power's out. Dropped my load off in a dock. And then came bobtailed out to our little parking area here. So um, I know it was a boring video, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it either way. And if you did, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, oh my goodness, some lights just came on over there. No, oh, that's across the street. That's not a Coke yet. But uh, anyway, yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously, and it'll let you know every time I make a new video. So I appreciate you guys watching, and as always, run hard and get paid.